Hi, Matt from Inverian here, and welcome to the tutorial video on editing signs within Rapid Plan. As you may already know, everything within Rapid Plan is customizable. Uh, that goes for roads, objects, or any other devices that you use within the software. The signs here are no exception. They're fully customizable, and you can have them however you like. I've got a few examples here, and I can show you how that can be done within Rapid Plan. The most basic form of editing signs within Rapid Plan is altering the text within existing signs. So I've got this 60 area sign here, sign here. I can adjust the speed as well as the text just by double clicking on the text I'm willing to change. So if I double click on the 60 here, uh, it'll bring up a little selection area where I can type a new speed. So if it needs to be changed to 40, I can set it as that just by clicking off. And if you're wanting to change the, uh, s the text down the bottom here, you can double click and also change the text as well. And once that's done, um, that'll be still grouped as a sign. You can then add that to your scratch pad as your own uh, custom sign, just by right clicking and adding to the scratch pad. Um, you can set all your custom tabs and uh, everything within the scratch pad. There is a uh, separate video that details how the scratch pad works, so feel free to check that out. Uh, coming over to the right here, I've got a dissected sign, just using a few elements that I've uh, brought over from some other signs. So, using the um, snapping to bounds feature that we have, you can see when I'm moving an object in, uh, it'll the center line and the edges and the bounds, they're all snappable. So it'll snap direct to the point of center on that sign. And then you can bring ev everything together into your own customized sign. Once you've got everything within the sign, uh, you'll need to group it. So at the moment, they're all ungrouped objects. What you'll need to do is just hit sh the shift key and select every object within that specific sign. You can then right click, group the objects, and then you'll have one complete group sign, which you can then add to your scratch pad as a custom sign as well. Coming to the bottom here, I have a sign that hasn't been edited as of yet. What I'm going to do is dissect the sign and then add this custom text that I've got here. So to di dissect the sign, what we need to do is right click it and hit ungroup objects. What this will then do is uh, dissect that sign into three separate objects that you can see here. Um, we can then left click and drag out each separate object. And with this text here, I can simply just move it in. If it is behind the sign, you'll just need to push it forward by right clicking, coming up to a range, and then just clicking on bring to front. This will then bring the text to the front of the sign, and then you can just find the, the center line or the, the center bound of that specific sign and just click it in the middle, and then group the object as I specified earlier. So there are some deeper customization options that you can do with the sign. So if you are wanting to change any of the colors or anything further with the sign, you can just simply just double click on the grouped sign altogether. And this will bring up a, a sign quick edit menu. Uh, from here, you can go through the different sub menus and really get into some more deeper customization options. So as I click through each of these options, you'll have the text that you can change. You can change its font and the size, uh, the coloring uh, of the sign itself. So you can change the style of the stroke. And when you hit save on any of these changes, uh, it'll directly uh, apply to your sign. You've also got some properties here for each sign in your properties palette. Uh, this allows you to change the sign of the sign, uh, the coloring of the stand, uh, and also the designation of the sign as well. Um, so as you can see, there are a, a fair few customiza customization options uh, with the signs in Rapid Plan. Uh, this shows how to, how to do it in the most basic form, uh, but as you get more into it, um, you'll see that there are some more advanced options. 
That sums up how to edit signs within Rapid Plan. Thanks for watching. Please hit subscribe below to be updated on new content at Inverium.